Hey YouTube, it's Icy, and welcome to the 64th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. And to start off, I just wanted to say that I have a lot of news to cover in this video, especially jailbreak and unlock related. But first, I just wanted to say that I am doing a new giveaway in collaboration with Jared and Kristen over at Friday Night Cranks. So we are giving away a brand new iPhone 4S. And if you want to enter, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is subscribe to both of our channels. And if you want to gain entries, simply rate up our videos, favorite them, and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase FNC ICU iPhone. Once you do that, you will be entered into our giveaway to possibly win the iPhone 4S. And remember, you can do this multiple times on our new videos. Also, we will be launching a website soon that will have more ways for you to actually enter the giveaway. So with that said, we're going to move on to all of the jailbreak and unlock news. And first up, we have the Chronic Dev team with their Crash Reporter. Now it's a relatively new utility that is made to run alongside iTunes, and essentially your device saves crash reports, which are instrumental to the development of jailbreaks because they contain valuable data that can possibly lead to a jailbreak exploit. So instead of having it send the crash reports to Apple, basically what their Crash Reporter utility does is it sends it to them instead so that they can analyze the information and again possibly find new jailbreak exploits that they can implement into future jailbreak utilities. And building on that, POSIX Ninja, one of the main members of the Chronic Dev team, actually said that Apple closed a lot of their untethered exploits, and that's why it's been taking so long for them to actually release a jailbreak utility, is because somehow all of those exploits that they discovered were closed from the beta versions of iOS 5 to the final release of iOS 5. And hopefully with this new crash tool, they will be able to produce a untethered jailbreak utility relatively soon. Also, earlier this week, there was a lot of commotion about a new tool called Acid Snow. It was said to be a tethered jailbreak utility for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS,